later in this video. Um, what is that? Glow, what are you doing? That thing's on fire! I'm so glad those classes are done for the day. Same, kind of. Wait, hold on. Did I just hear Emma agree that she's happy classes are over? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love school, but doing summer classes in addition to regular classes is kind of a lot. I'm learning so much in these classes. Like, who knew that A squared plus B squared could equal C squared? I, I didn't even know that letters could be numbers. Well, you're catching on really fast, Lance. Well, I have an excellent tutor. Not to mention, she's very beautiful. You're so sweet. <laughs> Anyway, are you guys excited for Dungeons and Dragons tonight? So excited! I love Dungeons and Dragons. Wait, so you guys have already been playing this game? Yeah! Me, Lance, Finley, and Chad all have a campaign going, and we want to add you to it! Campaign? Like, you're running for president? <laughs> no, a campaign in D&D is basically like your overarching story or plot. Yes, it's great fun. It makes me feel like I'm back home again. Now, Lance is really good at it. He gets so into it. I'm the dungeon master. Ooh, sounds scary. Well, that just means the person who creates the game and tells a storyline. Ooh, like a narrator. Exactly! Okay, so how do you play? We can focus on that tomorrow when we're on the spaceship, but the main thing you need to do right now is pick your character and then work on dressing up like your character. Wait, dress up? I am so in. <laughs> Wait a second, are we playing this game on the spaceship? Yeah, is that a good idea? Majesty's still pretty upset about Celeste being taken. I know, we all are, but hopefully this will help her get her mind off of it for a bit. We're going to find Celeste and save her, no doubt about it. You're the super pups and you can't be stopped! The yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, sorry. <gasps> are those little poppies playing Dungeons and Dragons? Oh my gosh, nerd alert! <laughs> Someone call the nerd police, <laughs> am I right? Oh yeah, that's right. I am the only one here since Hoppy went AWOL and Spike's working on a secret mission. Anywho, these little pops probably think dragons aren't real, but they are real and I totally know a dragon personally and he would totally think these people are lamos. Wait, you know a dragon? <laughs> I know everyone. Oh, I have a Totally good idea. I should go visit my fire-breathing friend. Now, where is he hiding these days? Um, orb thingy, just show me the dragon. Right, I guess, um, I guess that was a little too vague. Um, okay. Orb, show me the great and powerful dragon, the one we dare not call by name. Ugh, gosh. Well, you're definitely no Celeste, but I guess you get the job done. Ugh. Siri, remind me to make Poppy go get Celeste. Now I just need a disguise. <gasps> there. <laughs> Those like poppies are doing Dungeons and Dragons. I'm gonna go with a the theme. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Raycon. Majesty, what are you doing? And what's Raycon? Oh, hey, Pops. I'm just listening to the latest K-pop jam on my everyday E25 wireless earbuds. I just absolutely adore them. That is so cool. I was just noticing there's no wires and no stems. Exactly. They're very discreet. I love that about them. Check it out. Oh, and they're so stylish. Love them. And they come in a bunch of different colors. And you know how we love color here. Are they expensive? They are super affordable. Actually, they are about half the price of any of the other premium wireless earbuds on the market. Well, what's the sound quality like? They sound just as amazing as other top audio brands, and you can listen to them just about anywhere. Ah, yes, I see here they're completely noise isolating. 
Yes, exactly. This is their best model yet with six hours of playtime, plus seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that will give you a nice noise isolating fit. So, how can we get a pair? And how can the Pop Squad get a pair? All you have to do is go to buyraycon.com forward slash totally TV. Click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. Brought to you by Raycon. You look so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Welcome everyone to the Dungeons and Dragons Super Pop campaign. I am Lancelot and I will be your dungeon master today. Oh my goo goo, you all look incredible! Oh my gosh, look at you, sister! <laughs> Why do we have to dress up again? I feel like I kind of look like a mother. Because it helps you get in character, sister, and by the look of it, you chose to be a dragonborn cleric. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but yes! So wait, this is just like acting? Well, improvisation. <laughs> now I'm really excited! Why don't we go around and introduce ourselves? We already know each other, Lance, but okay, I'm Cosmic, I have bubble powers. I think he means our, like, character characters. Oh. I worked really hard on my character sheet, okay? Okay, I'll start. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Ella, the wizard elf. I am a scholarly magic user capable of manipulating the structures of reality. I have dedicated my life to learning new spells so I can save as many people as I can. Some of my skills include casting spells of explosive fire, arcing lightning, subtle deception, and the brute force mind control. Well, I've had my character for a while now, so <clears throat> you can call me Faye. I'm a half-orc druid. I'm a priest of the old faith, which means I can wield the powers of nature, moonlight, and plant growth, and I can take animal forms. I'm pretty much like a combination of myself and flower pop in real life. I'm Kriya, a human sorcerer. Human? Boring. Uh, don't be rude, Cheshire. As I was saying, I'm Kriya, the sorcerer. I'm a spellcaster who draws on inherent magic from my bloodline of strong sorcery. I inherited the power of the storm, allowing me the power to control the weather. My turn! Okay, I'm Cora. I'm a half-elf fighter. I come from the army of warrior women called the, um, how do you say that? Valkyries. Valkyries. I'm a master of martial combat skilled with a variety of weapons and armor. I know discipline and knowledge of fighting, and I'm also a great cook. Okay, fine, I'll go. You all may call me the musically magnificent Cedric the Bard. I'm a musically inclined halfling, or as you guys may know, a hobbit. I could use any instrument, and with that instrument comes magic. I sing songs, and I save the day with music. La! Okay then, well... I originally wanted to be a bard, but since Cheshire stole that from me, I guess I'll be a warlock. But also since I'm tiny, I'm a gnome as well. My name is Ginger, and I like learning about interplanar beings. I'm harboring secrets and I wield great power. Warlocks to draw their power from interplanetary ancient primordial beings in the elemental chaos, which in turn gives me chaotic elemental powers. <laughs> well, that's dark. Okay, sister, last but not least. I'm really not in the mood to play today, unfortunately. I know, sister. We're all upset about Celeste, but we'll get her back soon. Celeste is the smartest person we know. I bet she'll figure out a way to escape the bunglers. Exactly! So why don't we try and play? Get our mind off things for a while. Yes, you're right. Okay, ladies, well, my character's name is Mallory. She's a dragonborn cleric. And well, the cleric usually fills the leadership role. Her powers, or prayers as they call them, are usually concerned with healing, protection, and support. And as you know, I am the Dungeon Master, Lancelot, and I will be guiding you on your journey. It's a dark and stormy night in the land of Serpent Inn. Uh, hello? Is anybody here? I mean, ugh, gosh. What is up? Where are the accents? Where are the scented candles? Layers don't have to be dark and dingy. 
Who dares disturb the great and mighty Steve? Steve! Stop being annoying! It's me! Don't pretend to know me, old hag, because I do not know you! Leave at once before I have some barbecue for lunch! Uh, Steve! It's me, Misery! See? Oh, hey man, what's up? Man! Steve! I know you did not just refer to me as a man. Misery! I meant misery! Sorry, misery. My last meal was some surf and turf. Uh, I guess you are what you eat. Ew. Ugh. I cannot believe I dated you. I mean, Steve! I miss you so much! How you doing, buddy? Misery, don't play games with me. I know you're just trying to butter me up, so I'll help you with whatever scheme you're cooking up. Steve? Don't be ridiculous. I mean, like, can't two former flames, you know, meet up? I've, um, <clears throat> missed you. Really? You mean it? You missed me? Yes. I missed you. Like I said. So much. If you missed me, then why did you walk out? You broke my heart into a million pieces and watched me fall to my knees. Why does that sound so familiar? You took what you wanted without any reasons. Do you? That is a super pop song. Why would you recite a super pop song to me? Well, first off, your songs are uber catchy. And secondly, I really connected with the lyrics. It's like they saw right into my heart and how I was feeling. Ugh, they aren't your friends, Steve. They're the enemy. And I need your help to take them down. They've never done me dirty. I think I'll pass on helping you. Steve! Give me one good reason why I should help you. Um, well, like I said, I missed you. Like, I missed you so much. I miss, like, wreaking all that havoc with you. Don't you want it to be, like, the good old days? Mm, those were quite fun. Mm, if I agreed to help you, what would I get out of it? I thought she'd like never ask. Okay, if you get the pops, I will give you more treasure than you could ever imagine. Well, I'm supposed to be retired, but I do love treasure. Okay, I'll do it. I'm down to have a little fun. What's the plan? First, I'm going to send them on a quest. On said quest, they're going to run into some of my friends, and then I will take them down once and for all! It doesn't sound like I'm involved in that plan. Well, my um, schemes don't really have a really good track record, so I figured I'd have a plan B just in case my plan A fails. Plan B is we lure them here. You enter the dark room of enchantments. It's silent. You can't see anything except for a pale blue light, and it flickers like the flame of a candle. You can hear some faint whispers, but you can't make out what they are saying. And that concludes our game for today. Over? No! What? No! What's the flame? What is it? Let me guess. A sleeping dragon and we all have to be quiet or else we'll awaken it and it'll curse us all you're just going to have to wait till next time to find out my fair lady I am obsessed with this game there's so many analytics so much information can we play again tomorrow yeah and I love these characters like mine's so strong and yours is like crazy powerful and kind of has a dark side Lance you're such an amazing storyteller I think you have a promising future as a writer <laughs> Land stealing my lady again. Huh? 
What? What? Cheshire? Cheshire, you can't say stuff like that. What? It was a joke. I was just joking. Lance, please ignore my brother. Anyway, I've had such a wonderful time playing with you all. Thank you, really. It's, it's gotten my mind off of things. We knew you'd all have fun. How totally amazing would it be if we had a real life Dungeons and Dragons mission? <gasps> um, what is that? Glow, what are you doing? That thing's on fire! Guys, fire doesn't hurt me. Remember? What does it say? It's a quest invitation. You are invited to take part in a great quest. Whoa, you literally just asked to go on a quest in real life. Whoa, okay, I wish for a pepperoni pizza. Nothing? It says that we must find and defeat the great and powerful dragon, Steve. Sounds scary. I know of this Steve. He's been around since my time. He's very dangerous and he's very self-conscious about his generic name. This has bunglers written all over it. There could be some really bad magic involved. Yes, but since when has bad magic ever stopped us? We're the Super Pops, and we can't be stopped! If this quest is bungalow related, then we have to do it. Maybe it will lead us to Celeste and we'll get her back. How do we find this Steve? I agree with you, Majesty. I mean, I would do anything to get Spike back, but we've got to be careful. We don't want to lose another friend. The Pops are here and ready to quest. I hope we do our very best. There will be danger, there will be fire. I hope I don't get a flat tire. Glow, may I have the map, please? All right. I believe we must start our quest at the never-ending bridge in Elior. Let's get going immediately. Since this is just like a D&D &D campaign, we should make preparations and take some precautions. No time. Let's go. <laughs> this is perfect! The Super Pops are falling for my little quest. It's like taking candy from a baby. Why would you want to take candy from a baby? Why would a baby even have candy? That's way too solid of a food. Ugh, it's an expression, Steve! <sighs> Anyways, you're gonna wait here while I go set up some little traps for the pops, and then... Wait, you're leaving me? Again? Ugh, I'm not like leaving, leaving, Steve. I'm like leaving to make sure the plan falls into place, all right? I can't just like sit here and wait. No, oh, okay, but then you're coming back here? Yes, Steve. I'm going to set up some traps, make sure the pops fall for them, and then I promise I will come back here, okay? Oh no, that must be the troll. 